solve 2 times cosine x plus 1 equals 0 over the interval 0 to pi. Solution. So we have one trig function. So we'll start by solving for cosine x. So we'll subtract 1 from both sides. So we get 2 cosine x equals negative 1. Then we'll divide by 2. Divide by 2. So we get cosine x equals negative 1 half. And we have to find all of the values of x in the interval 0 to pi, where the cosine of x is equal to negative 1 half. So when you see this in your mind, you want to think, OK, the cosine of pi over 3, that's equal to 1 half. That's what you want to think about. So you have to think about what other angles have a reference angle of pi over 3 that will give you negative 1 half. So what are the angles that give you negative 1 half? Well, cosine on the unit circle is the x-coordinate. So those angles have to be multiples of pi over 3, and they have to be here and here. And the reason they're here is because cosine is negative here, and this is negative. Right? If this was the positive 1 half, then the angles would have to be here and here. OK, so the angle that's a multiple of pi over 3 here is 2 pi over 3. And the angle we want here is simply 4 pi over 3. And you can check that these are the correct angles, right? The reference angle here is pi over 3. The reference angle here is pi over 3. So the answers are 2 pi over 3 and 4 pi over 3. Let me go over that again one more time and explain it a little bit differently, because this is tough stuff. So you have cosine of x equal to negative 1 half. So when you see this in your mind right away, you want to think, OK, the cosine of what is 1 half? Ah, well, cosine of pi over 3 is 1 half. Then you say, all right, I need an angle that's going to give me negative 1 half. So if it's going to be negative, because cosine is the x-coordinate on the unit circle, the angle has to be here and has to be here. Those are the angles. Now, the familiar angles that are multiples of pi over 3 that reside in these quadrants are 2 pi over 3 and 4 pi over 3. And so those are the answers. I hope that made sense.